In a previous video I posted, I showed how to measure to the 16th of an inch. Someone commented, how do you measure to the 32nd of an inch? Well, most rulers only measure to the 16th of an inch. That means that in between two numbers, for example the numbers 2 and 3, we would have 16 units, or 16 marks. I measured a line here, and this line goes past the half inch mark, so we know it's at least two and a half inches. And since this measures to the sixteenth of an inch, we could say, well, this goes about two and nine sixteenths. Eight sixteenths would be right in the middle, but it looks like it's one tick mark past. As we look at that line a little bit closer, it actually appears to fall between two lines. So it would be like two and nine and a half sixteenths. But that just doesn't work. You don't say something like that. Or two and nine point five sixteenths. That's just too confusing. So let's use a different ruler and measure this more accurately. Now we're using a ruler that measures to the 32nd of an inch. It's uncommon and it's not standard. Most rulers that people pick up measure to the 16th of an inch. That means there's 16 tick marks between each two units. For example, the number 2 and 3 would have 16 tick marks. If you were able to count on this video the number of tick marks between the 2 and the 3, you'd count actually 32 units in between the 2 and the 3. That means this ruler measures to the 32nd of an inch. Half of 32 is 16, so we could say that if the line measured right to the half inch mark, that would measure 2 and 16 30 seconds. But it doesn't, it measures past that. In fact, if you can look carefully, you can see it measures 3 tick marks past the half inch mark. That would mean 2 and 19 30 seconds of an inch. And that's how you'd measure to 30 seconds of an inch.